In this video, you will see top Chinese dramas of Janice Fu. Octogenarian and the 90s. Sunshine Home is a nursing home taking care of the elderly from all walks of life. Ye Xiao Mei is intelligent, independent, and strong. She inherits the senior home from her grandmother. Guo Shan Shuang is a health supplement salesman who has scammed the elderly by selling products to them. Ye Xiao Mei and Guo Shan Shuang initially do not like each other but their touching stories bring them closer. The Brightest Star in the Sky Yang Jinjin wants to be a pop artist by winning in talent shows, but she never wins. Thereafter, she decides to aid her former contest opponent, Yu Ji Ryu, to become a star by becoming his personal assistant. Bai Shu is the big star of his agency, but he is pursued by media scandals due to his unrestrained actions. He gives Jinjin a lot of trouble. With the help of Zhen Zhen, who helped him correct his flaws and unleash his potential, Bo Shu slowly transforms into a talented singer. An Oriental Odyssey Yunnan is the daughter of the head of the treasury. Lan Ji is a young police officer. Even though they have different motivations and morals that guide them, together they work well in order to solve crimes. While on a mission, they met a man with no memories named Mu Li. Yunnan decides to buy him as a slave in order to save him from the abusive life. Then the three of them solved crimes by forming a group. My Amazing Boyfriend Shu Ling Shao is a human who somehow acquired immortality after recovering from a bite that almost took his life away 500 years ago. The act did not kill him, but forced him into a dormant state until an accident caused him to be revived through the blood of Tianjin Ji. With his memory loss, he set out to regain his memory and seek revenge. Along the way, he managed to wiggle himself into Jingji's house, life, and heart. Beauty from Heart It tells the story of twin sisters Tao Shao Ting and Tao Shao Di who make their way to Shenzhen. The older sister decides to get plastic surgery to become more attractive, while her younger sister Tao Shao Ting on the other hand is very hardworking. Liang Shen is an elder gentleman who becomes the CEO of a Nanuo company. Liang Shen and Shao Ting get involved due to some issues. Her genuine, simple, and persistent attitude slowly attracts him. Le Coup de Foudre
It shows the unfolding of a relationship between two very unlikely pairings. Xiao Yi is an average student but doesn't always excel in her studies. Yan Mo is an aloof but top student. As she needs help, she asks Yan Mo to home tutor her, which begins the start of their friendship. Yan Mo begins to become affectionate towards her and cares for her all the time. Skate into love. It represents the difficulties and satisfaction of a sports career and many lessons are displayed through various character experiences. Tang Shu is a former short track ice skating girl who tries to lead a normal life in university and forgets her former glory when she crosses paths once more with her childhood friend Li Yu Bing who was now the star of the university's hockey team. Tang Xu and Liu Yu Bing's constant bickering turns into a genuine care for one another. They got each other's back and encourage each other to fight for their dreams. <laughs>